Okay. Ooh. All right, so this is Chapter 10, Lesson 8, our problem-solving lesson. And this one's pretty important because a lot of times when you guys are doing problems, um, the, the textbook makers are going to try to trick you. They're going to give you either too much information or they're going to give you not enough in information. A lot of times they'll give you just enough information, but um, they really want you reading critically. So this lesson is all about trying to figure out if we have too much or too little information. So let's practice our strategy. On the first day, Gabriella's family traveled three tenths, um, three tenths of, uh, I don't know, of a road trip. So, so three tenths of a road trip. On the second day, they traveled 27 tenths of the road trip. They traveled for four days. What part of the trip did they travel in their first two days? So here we've got information for their first two days. Three tenths and 27 hundredths. So we know they traveled three tenths of a road trip on the first day and 27 tenths on the second day. We know they also know that they traveled four days. What do we need to find? What part of their trip did they travel in the first two days? All right, and that's written right here. So the fact that they traveled four days is extra information. All right, so it's not something we necessarily need to know. All right, so to solve how much they traveled in the first two days, we're going to combine three tenths plus 27 hundredths, okay? And just like in past lessons, you know that we're going to need a common denominator. So we can multiply 3 tenths times 10 to get 30 hundredths, and they've shown you that there. And 30 hundredths plus 27 hundredths is 57 hundredths. So Gabriella's family traveled 57 hundredths of their trip in the first two days. Now, if I had one of those cute little grids, right? We'll pretend that that's 100. 57 of those tiny squares would be colored in. So they traveled a little more than half of their trip in the first two days. Does our answer make sense? Well, sure it does, because 57 hundredths minus 30 hundredths is equal to 27 hundredths, which is the number that we started with here. All right, so let's now practice our strategy. So Charlotte walked six tenths of a mile to school. After school, she walked 24 hundredths of a mile to her friend's house. So. We have that, we have that. How much time does it take Charlotte to walk to school and to her friend's house? So what do we know? We know that she walked 6 tenths of a mile to school and 24 hundredths of a mile to her friends. What do we need to find? We need to find how much time it takes for her to walk to those two places. We need to find the amount of time it takes her to walk to school and to her friend's house. So, for the planning part, okay, we need to find the extra the extra 
or the missing information to solve the problem. Okay, so they're asking for time. They've given us distances in the story problem, 24 hundredths of a mile, six tenths of a mile. We don't know how long it took her to walk six tenths of a mile, and they don't give us information that tells us how long it took her to walk 24 hundredths of a mile. Okay, so um, the information information is missing, right? It doesn't tell us how long. We don't know how long it takes her to walk both distances. So, does our answer make sense? Yes, there's not enough information. We don't have enough information. There you go. So good luck and think critically.